Hey what's up guys, Brad here, so today we're going to be talking about Zexal World coming to Duel Links and not really Zexal World coming to Duel Links because if you've been following my channel for a while now, you will know that there have been some uh, rumours, some leaks that could suggest that Zexal World isn't coming in September, that the next world might be something to do with Duel Monsters, so we can talk about that, talk about the possibility of that, what that could mean and when we can expect to hear more news on the next world in Duel Links, but before we do that a big thank you to Nicholas Couch and BraveDXD for both becoming brand new channel members with the new feature. There are brand new channel membership tiers, of course, if you want to support the channel from as little as $1 a month, you can do so, link down below, click the join button. And without further ado, let's get into the content, because that's what you came for, so let's go. So last week I put a post up on my community tab asking you guys, what do you think we're getting in September, Zexal World or KC Grand Championship World? And 2,500 people voted on that one, that was my most voted on poll ever. On the tabs, so that's really really cool. And 74% of you thought we we're gonna be getting Zexal World, 18% thought KC Grand Championship, and 8% thought no new world, which is interesting because that's always an option. They could just completely skip out the option for a new world in September. So that could be one thing to look out for. But 18% of you believe that this is a thing, that KC Grand Championship World is a thing, and I'm starting to believe it too, because obviously if you go back and look at some of my previous videos we talked about in the game files that they now have a listing for the series IDs and KC Grand Championship World comes before Zexal, in between uh, 5Ds and Zexal, and then after Zexal World comes DSOD World, Dark Side Dimensions World, which is then before Arc 5 and then Vrains, so clearly they're thinking about doing this Dual Monsters new series, Dual Monsters new series kind of switch and kind of pattern, which makes sense because obviously Dual Monsters is the most popular form of the show, it is the most nostalgic show, it's the one that people have a you know, a ton of connections with, and it's the one that drives people to play this game. Like, more likely than not, you'll probably find Konami have data on this that most people stay in Duel World and don't really stay, don't really go into the GX World or the 5Ds World, which might explain why we haven't got a level up for the stage for 5Ds World and GX World, especially GX World, in over a year and a half. So, that could be a thing. Now, it's it's a very interesting time right now for Duelings people, because in this week we have San Diego Comic Con, so Last year it was on Thursday, and we got our first tease of 5Ds where Konami actually uh, posted on Twitter just a picture of their booth, and it just said, it's time to rev it up with a picture of Yugi and Yusei, and that was it, you know. That's all we heard for about two months, we had things in the game files leak, some cards leak, some skills leak, and that was it. So, Konami are back again, they're back at Comic Con again, and they're going to have a Yugi booth there again. So, potentially, we might hear about the new world this week. We might see a tease of it. If it's Zexal, then it's going to be very much confirmed. If it's a new KC Cup World, KC Grand Championship World, then I don't think we'll hear about it. I feel like that one will kind of just be announced like they usually do in September um, at a Jump Fest, I believe it is. I think that's the time it's uh, announced that. So I think it'd be announced around then. But Konami have been promoting Link Evolution, their new game coming out in the West on August 20th. Uh, they promoted that at E3, at Anime Expo, so I honestly think they're going to do the same again here. For Comic Con, their booth will be primarily dedicated to Link Evolution, to people playing that. That'll be the big wall art they'll have. They won't have anything, you know, for Duel, any like big new art for Duel Links. It'll just be the, the standard art we've come to know and love for the past year or so. So I don't think this week at San Diego Comic Con there'll be anything Zexal related if it is Zexal World, but I'd like to be proven wrong. And that's all of the real information we have about the new world. We know we have nine new character IDs. We know. In the game files, there are listings for the next world being KC Grand Championship, but it theoretically could be Zexal because that's the next one in line. Now, taking facts aside, why would they do this? Why would they skip out Zexal and go back to doing a Dual Monsters world? I've got a couple of ideas, so let me know what you think down below as to why they would do this and what you think could happen. If you think we're getting Zexal, if you're getting KC Grand Championship, if we're getting nothing, we're just getting like a continuation on of you know, 5Ds, GX, and Duel Monsters, that could be a that could be a thing as well, so uh, let's take a look at some of these reasons. First up, there's too many Duel Monsters characters. So if you've played in Duel Monsters World, which most people will have, you will know that you can spin that wheel of characters forever and ever and ever, and it takes a while to get through the entire wheel. With GX, it's not as much of an issue, and with 5Ds, it doesn't really, it's not an issue at all, there's like seven characters in 5Ds World. But there are so many characters in Duel Monsters World, and we're not even done. We've seen in the game files, there are references to Duke Devlin, Grandpa Muto, Normal Marek, maybe even Ryo Bakura, there might be some voice lines relating to him as well in the game files. And 
you can bet Konami wants to bring them to the game. You know, they will want to bring as many characters to the game as possible to continue player engagement, keep people playing their game, keep people invested. So, why would they, like, from a design standpoint, from a player and usability and a, like a player experience standpoint, that world is full. That world has too many things going on in it, too many characters, and it gets confusing. Like, I've, I've relegated that world a bit, and I've come back and I've discovered I've got tons of characters I haven't leveled to 45 yet, which I thought I did, because I thought I cleared them out, because there's so many characters in that world, at some point, they all just blur together. So, to me, it would make sense to split the Dual Monster characters off into a new second world, and they could then build up those characters. That could be a thing they do. Now, only one of those characters actually fits the Casey Grand Championship theme, which is Grandpa, because he played in that in that arc of the story. He was disguised as uh, Admar Otum or something. I can't remember the exact. It was Grandpa backwards, basically. Grandpa Muto backwards. And he played against Joey in that uh, in that arc. So that is the only character that really fits in with that arc. Duke Devlin doesn't, and Norm Marek certainly doesn't. There's also other characters they could introduce. There could be things like a Siegfried von Schroeder, which times up very well because if you don't know, cards and links only come to the game when they've been available in the OSG and the TCG. Now Valkyries, his deck, is a TCG exclusive right now, but in September, the OSG is getting those cards via their uh, extra pack. So what better timing to bring an archetype to Duel Links that hasn't really seen much TCG success, it's, it's a lot weaker than their anime deck for starters, but bring those to the game with a Siegfried as a character, that would be very fitting for a brand new world featured around the KC Grand Championship arc of Duel Monsters, so that could be pretty cool. There's also other characters like Leon von Schroeder, which we have a majority of his cards in the game as already. Same with Raphael, that was in the Wicked the Dragons arc, but I believe people kind of like to shove the two together and count one as the other, so who knows, they could do the same here, but we have the majority of Raphael's cards in the game. There's also Darts, the Seal of Orichalcos user. We have a couple of his cards, but we obviously don't have the Orichalcos seal itself as well as a ton of other things, so again, that could be a thing, and also there's the Memory World arc, which they could also use things like a uh, Bandit Bakura, Thief Bakura, and have Deerbound Colonel, so there are a ton of other Dual Monsters characters that we are missing that they could easily put into a brand new world, and they could just jump into this Casey Grand Championship world and be done with it. They could say, hey, this is a brand new Dual Monsters world, we're doing this for a year, and that'd be cool, that, that would be fine, you know, giving us more characters that would hopefully be level 45 and above, you know, have level 45 amount of rewards to uh, go through, uh, rather than like the 30 or 5 Ds, so who knows what they're going to do. Now, the other thing I think is that Synchro hasn't had as long to blossom, which uh, when you think about it, it's 100% true. So with Duel Monster and GX, you had the same summoning mechanics, there was no new mechanics there, you just had a Tribute Summon, Special Summon, Fusion Summon, and Ritual Summoning, and that was it. Then with Synchro, you got Synchro Summoning, obviously. And then, of course, with Zexel, you'd get uh, Xyz Summoning. Now, there is so much of 5Ds of Synchro Summoning we are missing that I feel like that if Konami introduced Zexel and Xyz Summoning right now, they would completely make anything to come with Synchro Summoning irrelevant, or a good chunk of it, because we're still missing things like you know, double tuning, things like the uh, Majestic Synchros, we're missing uh, Assault Modes, we're missing, and uh, this is a, a big thing, Black Wings. Konami haven't managed to sell us black wings yet which i thought they would have done very early on of course we just got cyber dragon so we know konami is isn't shy to releasing cards you know from G gx like very important cards way beyond their prime because cyber dragon is way beyond its prime right now as it, as it currently stands it's complete trash but black wings i feel like is one of the reasons why i'm believing that zexu world isn't coming soon because they want to let us play with black wings as good as they were in a tcg before and like especially with infernities as well then when we get Infernities as well, have them be potentially as good as they could have been in the TCG as well. So, it wouldn't make much sense to bring in a summoning mechanic that's going to completely make the majority of decks that play Synchros even worse than they already are, because as we've seen, there haven't been many, you know, Synchro decks that have been meta-relevant. We have Six Samurais, yay. We had Karakuris for a little while, for like a month. We had Dragoonities, which never really made too much of an impact, and Blue Eyes didn't even use its Synchro to be meta-relevant, like, and if you go and look on Dawn Xmas website on his tier list, you will see that Six Samurais are the only synchro based deck on there, and they're only good because of Shien, because they have that negate. Other than that, they probably wouldn't be that great. You know, sure, Anishi gets a bounce, but apart from that, that's the reason they're a synchro deck is because of Shien. The rest of the decks on there, ironically, are special summoning based or fusion based, and special summoning based decks are only going to get more powerful in the Xyz era. 
which in a synchro area you still need tuners to go into your monster wherever it exceeds, you don't. You can just special summon a bunch of monsters and then summon more monsters. So I feel like as soon as we hit the exceeds era, it's going to be a very big shift in the power gap for dual links for extra deck monsters. So I feel like Konami want to give us an extra kind of year of like six months or something of letting synchros be as good as they could be. Because we still, again, like I said, we still need Black Wings. We still need a ton of other synchro decks from that era. And I just I just feel in my gut that this is what they're going to do. So I know, again, a very rambly video. I'm, I kind of lost my points halfway through. But hopefully I can edit this to make it sound at least a little bit succinct. A little bit, make a little bit of sense, basically. So let me know your thoughts down below. What do you think is going to be coming? Do you think it's going to be Zexal World? Do you think it's going to be the KC Grand Championship World? What do you think is coming in September if we are getting anything? Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time in this video. See you then.